in the last video we learned about CSV files and hopefully you have understood what a CSV file is and what the format looks like. In this video I'm pretty excited we're going to take the CSV push it into a uh, read that into a data frame and we'll do our first data analysis. Again our first data analysis super excited let's go into it straight. So a data frame um, we use the uh, pandas uh, module. We will use a new function called read CSV and we will pass in the file name. Okay, read CSV will read this function will read data from this file. It's, it's going to be a CSV file and transform that into a data frame where we can run analysis. So this is a pandas data frame which is super powerful, like I mentioned in one of my previous videos, to uh, run analysis. We will do a quick, uh, you know, we'll take a peek into what the data looks like by using the head command. So data frame dot head, and you can see what the data looks like. And after that, we will do our first analysis. And the analysis we're going to do is because our data set contains kids information with ages in it, kids names and ages in it we will create a new data frame so this is a new data frame it's called data kids 10 and above you can call it whatever but keep it descriptive in this case I call it data kids 10 and above and I will tell my existing data frame this is a data frame uh, uh, hey filter the data by a condition and this condition right now is within these square brackets as you see here uh, the condition is within the square brackets uh, Pretty straightforward and I'll tell the condition uh, the condition I'm going to give is give me uh, this data frame filter this data frame by age which is greater than 10 okay age greater than 10 age here is a column name if you remember age is a column name and I will filter that by 10 so let's go straight into the uh, Jupyter environment so I have my Jupyter environment opened up here like I said I will have my import pandas as pd. pd is the uh, alias for this module and then I will have a data frame I create by reading the CSV file the out.csv which is already created for me and after I read this out.csv data frame I use the head function as you see I have an unnamed column here because I didn't I did not put a name for this column but I did have names for these columns in my CSV file I can probably open that up and show it to you. Uh, just give me a second file. Let's see, uh, open. Let's see if I can open that up. There we go. I have an out.csv and that's what the file looks like. Uh, okay, uh, I do need to move this a little bit outside so you can come inside. That's the file. This is the file.csv. This is the file. Obviously I didn't have column, column one here, but I did have column Sorry, I didn't have column zero. I did have column one and column two here. Okay, um, so let's go back into my projects. Uh, that's my out.csv, which I read from Jupyter. It's stored on my, uh, you know, Azure notebook environment. In my previous uh, example or previous uh, video I showed you. Let me go back to my projects. Uh, or let me go back. I think I can just go back here, close that, go back to my lesson. And there we go. So here, uh, import pandas. I got this out.csv. Read that into read that into a data frame. I peeked into my data frame by using the head command. I could see what it looks like. I'm pretty printing it. Uh, uh, so I have a couple of kids here with different ages. Now, the exciting piece is I'm going to do some filtering based on a condition where age is greater than 10. So let me scroll here. Uh, just a second. There we go. And this is what it looks like. Like I pointed out, I have a new data frame I create and I pass in a filtering criteria to my existing data frame. So I say this is the condition I have within the square brackets. So I'm saying data frame dot age. If you remember, I have age here, age, right, which is a column and age greater than 10. So data frame, which is the fra data frames name dot age, which is the column name greater than 10. And then I do uh, a head command on my new data frame to have a sneak preview. So this data frame dot head, and as you see, I only get the names of kids 
whose age is greater than 10 years old. So I have three kids here showing up in, when I run the head command where the age is greater than 10. So the first analysis using a filter within a data frame. 